Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have B Happy Face B with 1,442 rating versus Champion Duelist with 1,238 rating. So this is going to be another high rated DB video, and let's hop right in. We're going to go ahead and we are going to see three ties, four ties, and then we're going to see B Smiley Face when the Rock Paper Scissors shoot, 40 versus 40, got to love to see it. Opening hands, we got Per Lily, Imperm Ash, Imperm My Friend Pearly. They have Prosperity, Big Bang, Rise Heart, Unicorn, and Ash Blossom. So we see Kashira versus Pearly. Uh, we're going to see Pearly start with My Friend Pearly, Pay 5. The opponent Ash Blossoms that. Okay, I mean, there's like infinite. I wouldn't say like, okay, it's like fair because that stops them from getting like directly to the one they want. But there, there are a lot of cards that would just punish you. Normal summon per lily, per lily effect. The problem is this is not one of them because this can't search a quick play. So we're going to go search a pearly and then set double imperm pass to draw book of moon. Always set your imperms like this in the pendulum zones in case you go up against super heavy samurai. Don't get caught slacking. Summon unicorn, unicorn effect, chain imperm. They could book, but it's like, and then you just booked your own monster, right? Like that kind of sucks. So they're just going to let that go, hold the book, activate Pot of Prosperity, Banishing 6, Ash Blossom that, looking at the Banishes, uh, we see Garua, Goliath, those are their attachments um, for a future Arise Heart, then they're going to go Rise Heart Effect to Special Summon Out, and then Rise Heart Effect, Banish Birth, try to make them Banish 3 face down, they are just going to Imperm that though, keeping that level 7. Uh, doing that so that way we don't get hit with the dark armed I'm guessing because uh, they could go like dark arm beat over per lily dark arm effect try to go ahead and out the set card and then summon Zeus and then like Zeus trades with the my friend pearly and then all we have is pearly plus top deck which is like still good enough but yeah they go ahead shut that down put them on have more otherwise they really don't do anything so beat over attack and then main phase two, set book, set big bang. They draw talons. Okay, go main phase, my friend Pearly. And like that, that was a really good draw because uh, baiting unicorn is not hard to do. Like the opponent's going to play into it because they only have one new card. And like, you're going to unicorn look. Especially if you think that you're going to lose anyways, you want a unicorn look so you can see what they have. You know, it's actually a really big difference. Like, do they have Fuko? How many of the Pearly's uh, XYZs do they play? So they're going to pay 500, and then that will reveal three pretty, and then add a pretty to hand, normal summon pearly, pearly effect. You always want to start with this there, otherwise like an imperm right here would be a double trade into an L. So that's going to go ahead and hit my friend pearly, which is okay. Uh, any hit there is a fine hit, just because we're going to discard it for pretty memory. Uh, they're going to go unicorn effect. And that's going to hit Downard. And then we're going to go Pearly Effect to upgrade into Beauty. Attach the Pretty. And then we're going to go Beauty Effect. Send my friend to attach Big Bang. Said what do. Sorry reading. Attach. And then they're going to chain Book of Moon. Um, yeah, that was a very questionable Book of Moon. That was not good. Still attach. Doesn't attach. You can't arise attachment face down. It does. Same really, no it doesn't. It's not treated as an XYZ monster. Okay. First of all, that's why they booked. Okay, that makes more sense. That's actually like a fair enough thing. If they thought it would stop it from attaching, then yeah, you may as well book. Because the opponent's probably just going to go battle phase next play anyways, attack rise hard. So, fair enough. But that's not how it works. Um, also... That is also not how it works. If you go a Rise Heart Chain Link 1, Book of Moon Chain Link 2, you still attach. You can still attach materials to stuff that is face down 100%. It, it doesn't matter if it's an XYZ material. Like, yes, this may not be an XYZ right here, but what are these? Are you just going to say these are fake cards now? Like, you know what I mean? These are still XYZ materials. You still attach them as XYZ materials. It does not attach here. Cyber Dragon Infinity ruling. Kashira Rise Heart ruling. It's the same ruling. What are you guys talking about? Or what is Champion Duels talking about? It's the same ruling. It does not. Call Judge. Arise attached. There's no Judge online. Give me a sec. No, it doesn't. Sure, you're wrong. I'll wait. Are you in Judge Lounge? It says this card. It, not the card anymore. 
And not an XYZ monster. Okay. Well, it says attached to this card. Okay. It... That doesn't matter. Okay? That, like... You gotta learn rulings. Otherwise, like... How do you think BLS versus Book of Moon works? If I go BLS target your monster, you chain Book of Moon on your monster, do you think it dodges the BLS? No. Because it says target one monster on the field, banish it. It doesn't matter if it's Book. Now, if it's like Chaos Sork, where it says target one face up monster on the field... And if you do, banish that target. So, like, or it's, like, you know, target it, and then, like, if it resolves, banish that target. But it's, it's pretty much, like, that target, and the target was a face up. And, like, it had it, it so it wouldn't work if you chain book on that, because it's trying to, like, uh, compare to, like, the face up part of it. But, uh, you know what I mean? Like, this is just simple rulings, you know? This is goat rulings, pretty much. I know it's an XYZ ruling, but this is still just goat rulings, pretty much. Um... To this card, booked monsters are this card. Judge will tell you, bro, read the ruling so I'm wrong. There's no online. It's pretty wrong. And we wait. Oh my god, you provided zero sources. Go to the Judge Lounge group and Facebook. Here, the official Yu-Gi-Oh! Judge group. Okay. Whoa, it's, I wouldn't say it's an official Yu-Gi-Oh! Judge group. Okay, I've seen some pretty bad rulings come out of there. But I would say it's a good place to be if you have questions. Um, yeah, I, you know. I, either you ask a dumb question, everyone laughs at you, and you get the answer, or, like, five people replying, you get the right answer, right? But, yup, okay, we're seeing a judge call here, just fast forward. Oh my gosh, it's Nash! Hey, Nash. Said, hi, Nash. Nash. Ruling, so chain link one beauty, chain link two book, the monster should not be considered an XYZ while face down. Okay, it's not considered an XYZ while face down, but... That doesn't matter. It has nothing to do with those. So, shouldn't attach, but he argues different. Nowhere on the card says XYZ. The other set on my field. No need to swear on this platform. Please calm down. Let Nash answer. Okay, first of all, stop calling him Nash. It's Nash. Second of all, where did they swear? This isn't a swear. This is, uh, uh, free my loaf of bread. That's pretty much what it stands for. Said, yo, should I provide you with multiple sources? Thanks, Nash. So, what's the chain link? Chain link one beauty to attach my set. Chain link two, book of moon. Chain resolves. Book in the XYZ. Argues my set should be attached, but it should not. It cannot attach in TCG. Same as you cannot detach from sprint wall and XYZ is face down in TCG. Okay, a few things. One, that is, it, it definitely can attach in TCG, right? And second of all, the sprint thing is definitely, like, an event to an event thing. Even though, like, we've pretty much got to the point where we've agreed that you can't sprint in, in TCG, I would still, like, ask a judge. Like, I, don't, I mean, I don't know how it works in OCG. I don't care about OCG. But just ask a head judge uh, before an event on how the sprint works at that event because it has been ruled so differently and we still don't have like a very clear ruling on it it seems said a rise heart but that's crazy a rise heart cannot attach just the same thing as i said xyz like that can definitely attach there i don't know what nesh is talking about the card does not say xyz is not like sprint irrelevant doesn't matter yes it does that's the whole reason why sprint doesn't well it's like, yeah, that's the whole reason why Sprint doesn't work. It's because it's, it, it's not an XYZ. It's just a monster that's face down that has XYZ materials. But that not, doesn't stop this from attaching something as an XYZ material. How does it not matter? It mattered when Gigantic and Sprint. I'm pretty sure my rulings. Same applies with 101. Okay. 101 is different. Um... 101 is, wait, isn't 101 the same to where if it's booked, it still attaches? I know if it's ogred, it obviously doesn't attach, but I'm pretty sure if 101's booked, it still attaches. I'd have to read 101 to see if there's, like, some weird w wording on it, but I'm fairly certain it should just attach. Only on DB you guys rule it like that, I know it. Every major event ruled sprint, you can do it, but never mind. Then again, use the argument that Gigantic can resolve because it doesn't say XYZ. Sprint cannot detach from set in TCG. Yes, but Sprint says XYZ. Only in OCG, Gigantic not. 
I'm also confused by that because Gigantic does say detach from. Oh, okay, okay. So they're saying that if you have a XYZ set, you can't use sprint effect. But they're saying that Gigantic, you can detach from a face down XYZ. I think is what they're saying. A pearly XYZ monster that has cards material gains the following effect. Okay, you have to copy and paste it. What does this have to do? Yeah, there's no mention of XYZ. Unless if you're going by this, but this part actually has nothing to do with it. This, this has nothing to do with it at all. This is the effect currently going on. This is just blank words that are there right now that have nothing to do with it, really. It's not considered anymore in XYZ. Attach to this card as material. Yes, if it said attach it to this XYZ card as a material, then yes, it would not be able to do it. No XYZ mentioned the spell card attached. It is not applying. No, Nash, you're not sending the top. Oh, Nash, you're looking like a bot right now. I'm not going to lie. I can't lie. This is really bad. This is a bad ruling. Said what? It activated already? That is the condition? Yeah, I mean, sometimes it happens where, like, you just, like, really do the wrong ruling. Yu-Gi-Oh! is, like, really, really complicated with their rulings for some reason. But this just doesn't make any sense. I don't even know why he's copying and pasting this. Like, yes, it does say a pearly XYZ, but, like, that's not the effect. It literally says right under it, it gains the following effect. And this is the effect that it gains, not this. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't do anything with that. It stops applying. What? It doesn't stop applying. It already activated. Yeah. No, it doesn't stop mid-effect. How does an effect stop applying mid-effect? I mean, you can ask for an appeal. Appealing the owner of the site. Okay, Nesh is not the owner of the site. Nesh is uh, not the owner. The owner is uh, X Steven. So that made my mind. There is no one online, or is there? Nash, you're amazing. Please sign my collection of ICS. I appeal to them. I'm wheezing. I, okay, the head judge is literally going to come and tell you that you're wrong. Like, what? They already messed up the ruling of sprints, so why not? I want to know how they do it here. Okay. So, fast forward. Oh. Um. Hello. I was told there is an appeal. Give me a moment to discuss with the other judge. Please explain the issues briefly as I do. Uh. Yo, Coder, Coder, Nesh in the same call. I explain my side if he does. Doesn't matter. Chain link one, beauty, target set next to deck. Chain link two, book of moon. Does beauty attach? Nesh argues first because of sprint ruling. Then the effect stops applying. Nothing else happened. Should not attach due to not being XYZ or purely XYZ as, Na as Nesh explained earlier. Uh, then with the argument, the effect stops applying. So in this instance, the effect being applied is attached to this card as a material. The effect will still be applied even if the monster that is being attached is to face down. Thank you. I disagree and so does Nesh. I mean, you're just wrong. I don't know what to say. You can't attach- Yes, you can, bro. You're so bad. Uh, a rise heart cannot- Yes, it can. I don't know what locals you've been going to, and I don't know what judge told you that, but they were wrong. Uh, there's no reason that it can't. Apologizing for the mistake. Hey, let's go, Nesh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We all, mis we all make mistakes. Uh, how can the pearly arise? Can same wording? I don't know where you got that ruling. So it's the same card when face down. Yes. I'm asking Coder, not you. If you chain Book of Moon to an arise heart that used the effect to attach to itself, it will still attach material. Yes. Interesting. Thank you for your time, guys. There's also a database entry for Cyber Dragon Infinity Effect 2 attached to itself that state if Book of Moon is chained to it, it still attaches. Okay, and that's what uh, this person had brought up earlier. So, seems like this probably could have been done a lot quicker. But, hey, only like, you know, it actually wasn't that bad of time. Um, For being like, only a 30 minute judge call with a head judge, like that's not bad for DB at all. So... Okay, they're gonna go ahead. Said, well, now it is done. Now it is done, we can continue. Well, duh, Sherlock, well done. Okay, champion duelist. You got 16,887 rating, and you don't know that ruling. Uh, that's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say, Sherlock. It's not like I'm winning. Um, 
Activate Talents to draw, draw Sleepy, plus Dark Ruler. I mean, all you need to do is draw a Pearly Spell there, and it kind of seems like you're winning. Okay, I forget what was even used this turn. Oh, it was really just only Pearly, huh? That's what we did, right? Yeah, we just summon Pearly Effect. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Okay. So activate Sleepy, discard Dark Ruler, and then go Special. That's going to bring out Pearly, and then Pearly Effect. Yeah, we can't go for Lily because we have nothing in Graver to attach. So that's going to go ahead and hit Delicious. Yup. Grab the Delicious to hand. And then we're going to go Pearly Effect, upgrade in the Plump, and then we're going to go Plump Effect to attach. Sure. And then we're going to activate My Friend Crash. Yep. I was going to say, that's the only reason why you'd summon this in attack. Like, otherwise, you know, we just summoned in defense. Uh, my friend effect to go ahead, add back, grab back, delicious, and sleepy. And then, I said prey. On set. Okay. I mean, we never had to take this risk, necessarily. Couldn't we have just, like, instead of using pearly effect to upgrade... Couldn't we have just activated the Delicious, go summon out from deck, and then, like, use those to overlay into a rank 1, and then that's Zeus, and then we have Zeus plus we have my friend in hand for follow-up, so, like, that's just auto game. Kind of confused on why we were doing this. Um, I thought we had a game plan, but we actually just decided to gamble for some reason. Uh, hit Sleepy, Happy... All right, it pays off, but it doesn't even pay off that much. So that's the thing is like, we actually just lose a happiness here. I guess we didn't have downers, so like the rank one line isn't as good. I forgot this was gone. Yeah, the rank one line wasn't as good. Okay, okay, I get it now. I get it. Summon Zeus, Zeus effect. But the thing is like, if you're just gonna go for this, this is literally the same thing as the rank one line, but without the gambling. So like, you may as well take the gambling out of it. And you activated my friend, which should have been in hand. Like, I don't know. I think because of the judge call, they came back and just started playing like an absolute bot. Hopefully they, okay, they draw Scarecrow, it doesn't do anything. Okay, so pass. It's insane, okay. Pass turn, I don't care, stop trolling. You were trash, pass turn. We draw delicious memory. Attack for 3,000, and then summon another Zeus. That's an interruption. Let's go. Pass turn. They draw birth. Okay. So they're going to go Scareclaw. I mean, that's pretty good, though. I'm not going to lie. Um, this also should have been summoned in attack mode. Should not have been summoned in defense. That's pretty much, like, what you want to do with your Zeus most times. I feel like just summoning in defense, there's really no reason to. Um, here, they would have at least lost their Scareclaw. Here we're going to go start a battle phase. Yeah, you just go start activate Zeus. You don't want them to keep this on field. So you just have to wipe. Theosis or monster? Hmm. I mean, it's true. It's true. They could be bluffing you and just have unicorn. And wiping is just the wrong play. They could have Theosis. I mean, I get it if you don't wipe. I actually get it if you don't do it. It would be completely fair enough. Okay, so they're going to go ahead and wipe. I know Pearly Spell in hand. I drew a card for draw phase. Yep. <laughs> Activate birth, birth effect, summon unicorn, and then unicorn effect, grab theosis, theosis, go summon. Hey, the pearly player through. If 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 I was them, I would have had a my friend last turn. I would have drawn delicious for turn. I would have activated my friend pearly. Also, they should have had my friend in hand. They should have had another pearly peak, which it hit. So they actually would have started their turn with my friend, happy, and delicious. So instead of having all three of those, they had just Delicious. I just want to throw that out there that, like, you know, they made a mistake, which cost them the game. Summon Rise Heart. Rise Heart, Banish Theosis. Three face down. Do we hit Lily? No, we hit Yeep. And then they're going to go Theosis. Grab back Birth for follow-up. Overlay into a Rise Heart. Pass. They draw Nib. End main phase two. Hmm, crazy game, not going to lie. Okay, so they're going to go Delicious. Discard. Bring out Per Lily. Per Lily effect. Well, Arise Heart 1, Per Lily 2, Birth 3. Birth will target your pretty happy delicious. Yep. Oh my god, why'd you target Sleepy over Delicious? You don't know what these cards do. You're so bad. That's crazy. Okay. 
And then, yo, they're gonna go search my friend. Or I start effect to attach. They admit defeat. Said, you're it's over, GG. So toxic. Saying GG after game one. So on to the next game. We're gonna see Pearly decide to go second. Opening hands, we got Pearly, Pearlily, Talents, Delicious, Imperm. They have Book of Moon, Book of Eclipse, Book of Moon, Birth, Book of Eclipse. What a hand. Oh my. Why were these even in their deck this heavy going second? Their deck must be horrible in the pearly, like their their actual deck list, because like these aren't very good. I mean, they're decent. Being able to stop the trap card is nice, but that's really all this is doing. Maybe stopping like a beauty or something. I don't know. Okay, whatever. They're just gonna go ahead set four pat. You're never gonna need all four of these. That's crazy. Draw happy. People, like, actually side Harpies into this matchup. Uh, so I feel like setting that many is crazy. Uh, summon, effect, look at the top three, grab back a pretty memory, and then go ahead, put back. Uh, activate delicious memory, and then discard Per Lily, bring out Per Lily, Per Lily effect, go grab my friend Pearly. And then, okay, activate my friend Pearly, pay 500 life points, and then that's going to reveal... Happy, pretty, delicious. They should have let the opponent think more on res there because what if they just go overlay Fuko, battle face poke, make Zeus, wipe field. You lose four books to the Zeus. Four of them. You can't even chain. I mean, you could. You could book a moon in response, but like, it wouldn't even matter. The Zeus wouldn't have another send. Grab delicious. And then pearly effect to upgrade. They're going to upgrade in the happiness. Per Lily effect to upgrade now. Chain Book of Eclipse. So those get set. Uh, activate pretty. No, this does not XYZ into anything. Um, you know, can't overlay with face down guys like that. But we're going to go ahead. Discard. Bring out Pearly. Pearly effect. Look at the top three. Grabs a my friend Pearly. And then put back. And then we're going to go Pearly effect. To upgrade, chain Book of Moon on that. Mm, okay, I guess. Um, it's like you could chain it in response to when they summon their guy, especially because you know they have my friend Pearly. So like the last current hand would have to be a live card for them to do anything. They're gonna end phase, flip draw, Lightning Storm, Book of Moon, Dark. Ooh, Lightning Storm would have been crazy. Draw Dark Ruler, Book of Moon, Lightning Storm though. Pause the game, they said no, you only draw two. Oh my gosh, now you're gonna tell me you don't know Book of Eclipse either? Like, there's no way. Yes, Book of Eclipse flips all the monsters at end phase, not just the one that it sets. There was a very common play back in 2015 where if Necroz activated Book of Eclipse, the other opponent would then set a monster so that way, like, they'd set a monster from hand so that way during end phase it gets flipped and they draw. So, that's a way to, like, punish Book of Eclipse, it's just by setting and getting a free draw. I actually, I actually did that at YCS Vegas with uh, Cartesia. I set Cartesia and end phase got the flip at the draw. Read Eclipse, draw for cards. Yes, for this effect, read it. You don't draw three. No, look. Read it, read it. You read it. Come on. Oh, okay. I knew this was coming. Wah. Okay, ha, they draw another birth. Yep. Low. Classic. Lose to myself happens. I would have responded with this. Wah. Cry about it. Who cares? Haha. <laughs> Unfortunate. But on to the next game. We're going to go ahead and we are going to see Cash Tira go first. We got Lightning Storm, Dark Ruler, Delicious, Pearly, Happy Memory. They have Prosperity, Ash, Imperm, Fenrir, Book of Moon. Both hands are solid. Activate the Pot of Prosperity. Go banish six. Look at the top six. Um, ooh, it's like they could grab a pointer, but that means they're not going for Unicorn. They also play Primitive Planet with Set Rotation, which I think is incorrect. I actually think Desire is just better all around. This card's really bad. Set Rotation is a good draw, but this card is really, really bad. So they're going to grab back the Pressured Planet there. Yep, giving them access to Unicorn. Also, Pressured Planet is just a broken card on the field. Activate Pressured Planet, go search, grab Unicorn. And then summon unicorn, effect, grab birth, activate birth, normal Fenrir, Fenrir effect, go grab Rise Heart, and then special summon out Rise Heart. Now let's see what do we want to go for. Okay, we're just going to go ahead, banish here. Not going for anything crazy. 
Banish the Pearly Yeep, Happy Memory, and a Pearly. This is probably a one of in their deck going second. So that's gone forever. And then hitting one of this is nice. Even though we do have access to it. And then every cat we hit is a good hit. Overlay, going to Arise Heart, Set Imperm, Book of Moon, Pass. They draw Dark Ruler. So go main phase, activate Dark Ruler. Just instantly trade with the Arise Heart. You can't do anything about it. Like, unless if you're going to chain Book of Moon on Arise Heart, chain Arise Heart to Banish. There's just nothing. And then Lightning Storm, Call Spells and Traps. Sackiest guy I ever met. Okay. So I'll go ahead, pop all of that. Mm, is there ever a world where you chain Book of Moon on Arise Heart? You could. Um, the argument to it would be that if the opponent... All they have at some point is like plump attack into a rise heart to Zeus. Now, since it's face up right here, if we just attack it, it's negated, right? We just main phase two Zeus, nothing happens. If they book it, and then we are forced to attack it, it's now flip face up, it's not negated anymore, and it has its banished live. So that was a very uh, big mistake right there. That was a, a very common play, especially a few months ago. I had that happen uh, to me playing Sprite like tens of times. So, they obviously haven't uh, played with this deck that much. Summon Pearly effect. I'm also just, I'm trash talking this person. I'm not even going to lie. Summon Pearly, Pearly effect. Look at the top three. Hits my friend Pearly. And then go ahead, put the other two back to the bottom. And then activate my friend Pearly. Pay 500. Gets hit with Ash Blossom. Okay. And then activate Delicious. Discard Dark Ruler. And they said, goodbye, sweet friend. I will see you in the future. I appreciated our time together. And then, yeah, they went ahead and amid defeat and leave. No GG's. They said, ease. Ha, 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 ha. That was satisfying. Cost me an hour, but worth it. Ja, 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 ja. Lose, champion duelist. You just took the L. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, they just played bad. As simple as that. They didn't play that great. The pearly player played bad game one. You should have got 3 0 to be honest. But... Yep, that is going to be it for the match. And, you know, the match is about an hour long, just as they said. And, um, yeah, with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.